Hello everyone, my name is Stone and welcome to your ultimate guide to stocks in Excel. I'm going to show you how you can dynamically track stocks uh, online through Excel uh, where we can update these numbers automatically and take away strain of tracking some stocks online. I hope you enjoy this series and without further ado, let's jump straight into this one. So what I'm going to try and teach you today is how to pick up Apple stocks. So currently my model here is pulling through this data for the last month basically and today is the 14th of December. So I'm pulling through about uh, 21 days uh, trading here and what we can see is the opening price of the stock uh, dominated in dollars. So uh, it's the open opening price, the highest price that it uh, went for that day, the lowest price and the closing price. And we've also got the percentage change from the previous price uh, closing. And we've got some conditional formatting showing that indeed the last uh, five days was the best in the series. So if you bought stocks here at $150 on the 15th, you would be smiling with about a $25 increase here. And uh, you can also see the best uh, percentage changes was here in uh, the 7th of December with a 3.5% increase. Which is very nice of tracking stocks online is you can literally just uh, hit that data button, click on refresh all and it pulls the query through. You can see it running here in the background, pulls through the data and through the min and max formulas that I've written here, it will update the candle chart. Uh, accordingly so the candle chart is very nice so you can quickly see yes we've got a 2.8 percent increase here on the green side was on the 10th a drop once again to two percent and a drop by let's say 15 percent here uh, today but at the end of the day we still have a nice upward trend and as i mentioned if you brought bought some apple shares here on the 15th you would be smiling with a nice return of 25 dollars on the share all right guys so uh, enough of this technical analysis so what I would like us to do is now create this one from scratch and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this series with me all right guys so let's start off with, off with scratch so the website that I'm going to use I'm going to quickly pop into Google and I want you like to type in ZA point investing so that should take us to a, a ZA point investing .com. This is the site that I usually use to track some stocks and in the search bar here on top you can write in Apple and we know Apple is listed on the NASDAQ stock exchange so look for this ticker the double APL and if you click on it it will take us through to the uh, online site here and what I would like us to do is click on the historical tab here once we click on the historical tab, you will see most of the info that we use is here in a tabular form, but we want to pull this automatically into Excel. So what I would like you to do is double click on the URL up above, just highlight all the text, uh, control C to copy, and that's it. That's all that we need from the site. So in Excel, I'm using Excel 2016. Um, you're going to click on data tab here, in the top hand corner you're going to click on new query so we're going to use power query for this and we're going to use it from a other source here from the web this is where our data comes from to make it dynamic so and it's going to ask you for a url you can say control v just to paste in that url that we just copied in and, and hit ok uh, for you guys i will put in this url in the descriptions down below and as it's connecting Guys, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button just here down below so you will get updated once I upload more of these uh, stocks in Excel videos. So as we can see is they pulled through a few tables. So let's squeeze through. So table zero, oh, that's the perfect one. So table zero will be the one that we need. So this is the power query. But before we just load, I would like you to hit on this edit button here and as we go into the query editor we just need to change a few things we are not interested in the volume column so i'm just going to quickly click on the volume com column and click on remove column so we don't need uh, 
let's remove the column there we go remove column we don't need the volume trade we want to make sure the date is definitely a date field prices should be a decibel so just click on it and make sure it's a decibel number that's fine and we just make sure this percentage on the right hand side is definitely a percentage and if we're happy with that we just change the name as well so we don't want table zero let's call it apple table just to distinguish that and if we're happy with this data oh and with excel how we do a candlestick chart is we put the opening price high price low price and closing price you will see price pulling through on the left hand side so you just click on the we can say okay we can just say apple table one uh, then we can do price just highlight on it and we drag it to the second last column so it should show open high low and then the price then we know our data set is fine and we can close and load so every time when we refresh it's going to pull through the data it's going to remove the volume column and it's going to switch the price column for us and make sure that everything is definitely uh, decimals i see the percentage we can just click on the percentage i'm going to zoom in a little bit for us just to check so on the percentages i see they pulled through decimals so you can say control shift and down once you highlight the percentages that should select the whole range click on home and we click on the percentage tab just to make it a percentage and we're going to drag it to two decimal places there that's perfect and while we add it once we highlighted these percentages we can click on the home tab conditional formatting and we can give it a color scale i think it should be the first one and if we click on it then we can automatically visually see where our high points are the 7th of december was 3.5 and our lowest point was here on the 26th of November. That's the swing basically of the share. Giving you a little piece of risk throughout the month or the 21 days period that we're tracking here on how the, uh, this share has swung. And uh, we can also put it on price. So you can click on E2, control shift and down to select the whole series. Click on conditional formatting, colors, scales, and the first one there as well. So we can see the last a uh, few days were the were nice days as opposed to starting out in the month that gives us that upward trend on a on a visual basis all good so far so here in h1 let's uh, type in apple so we know we're searching for apple stock here in h2 i would like you to put in min for the minimum value and in i2 max we can also use the formatting you can highlight a1 to b click on format painter and we can just use that to give this the nice look and feel that we have for our table as well i'm just going to use this to put in apple and merge it as well so it looks nice i'm going to highlight i and or h and i just put it here in the middle or there we go and here in h3 let's put in the, the min formula so it's equals min open brackets you can just highlight b2 to d 22 hit enter and it will show you the minimum amount in this range we're going to do the same with max equals max open the brackets from b2 to d22 enter and this will give us the minimum and maximum of this range we're going to use this for our chart so we want to put in our chart so you're going to highlight from a2 to e2 and we're going to go to e22 so we're going to highlight all our information we're going to go into insert here above you can just look for the chart here in the waterfall or stock chart it's here in the middle right hand corner and if you click on the little drop down field you will see there's a stock chart and that gives us a nice stock chart it looks a little bit distorted currently because it starts at zero and that's why we specifically put in that min and max formula to make it uh, look nice as well First thing first, let's highlight these series and press on delete so it takes away the series. And on chart title, I would like you to highlight chart title, hit equals immediately and say H1 and enter. So this will give us just a, a nice dynamic uh, a chart title. And now I would like you to highlight H3 for that minimum value, hit control C to copy. 
and double click on the chart so we get the chart uh, information here uh, just left click on the Y axis here and click on the um, access options we're going to open up the access options here on the right hand side and we're going to paste in that minimum value you're going to highlight minimum control V to paste and hit enter and you'll see it formats our chart a little bit better uh, highlight a uh, i3 for the maximum value we're going to follow the same methodology click on the y axis click on access options here on the right hand side and we're going to paste in the maximum value as well so control v enter and now we've got this nice looking chart it looks a little bit bland uh, because of the colors dark color means down and light colors means up so I'm going to highlight one of the dark colors, you just left click on one of the bars, go to format here above, shape fill and we're going to give it a nice red color and for the uh, white bars we're going to do fo uh, format and we're going to give it a nice green bar so we know what's up, what's down and what's in between. Uh, with the candlestick charts so we can now see a nice trending uh, upwards uh, stock that we're tracking here from uh, the 15th up until the 14th and what is nice i'm just going to click on view here and i'm going to hide the grid lines so it looks a little bit sharper so what is nice is we've got a nice dynamic uh, range here we don't have to go into the internet in anymore to track this stuff and we can just hit uh, data if tomorrow you open up your sheet click on data you're going to click on refresh all you will see here on the left hand side there's a quer query running in the background pulling us some new data and well, we can pull through all the data that we need at the end of the day dynamically we can track the stocks and uh, yeah basically this is the apple stock i'm definitely going to invest in this stock seeing that there's an upward trend the risk isn't too bad with the swing and th there's definitely a uh, upward sentiment for a apple stock guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial next up uh, we will look at tesla stocks uh, for our next episode and uh, please hit this little subscribe button down below so you will be informed once i upload some new content guys i hope you liked it and until next time cheers